What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Oh, you new subscribers, I'm Barbas. So, you guys already know that I chopped up the car. There's a bunch of questions and I'm about to answer some of these questions that you guys might have. Um, some questions are regarding the Civic, other questions are regarding the compressor that I use and my setup. So I'm gonna be answering those questions right now. My plan with the Civic, so, my plan was to get it running um, at the end of April, maybe the beginning of May. That didn't happen. Um, I did fall behind on all this stuff that's been going on. But the new plan is to get it running sometime this year before the year is up. Um, another thing is that this car is not gonna be driven daily. It's not going to be driven. It's only going to be driven whenever I film for you guys. I have no other plans. I have no other thing for this car. This car is being built strictly for YouTube and YouTube purposes. So let's get inside the car and I'm going to show you my plans with all the cutting that I've done and the cutting that will continue. So you guys know that I cut this whole section off right so my plan is to I still got to go to Harbor Freight and get a new wheel finish cutting the whole thing um, well not the whole thing I just want to cut right here and down and get rid of this plate and I want to clean up those cuts all the way around and that side the same thing um, there is a plate that sits under here and what i'm thinking to after everything remember everything has to be removed before we can start tightening everything back up so when we start tightening stuff back up we're gonna gain our weight that we have lost so when we start tightening stuff up we're gonna get a strut tower that's gonna run from here a strut tower bar actually that's what i meant to say that's gonna run from here to there and that's gonna help out a little bit not a lot but it is gonna help out then there's this thing that they call a C pillar bar the C pillar bar goes from there all the way across to over there and that's gonna help a little bit it's all gonna be a little bit from here and a little bit from there that's all gonna help out then let me show you guys over here this bar that runs across you guys see this big metal bar this thing it's got pretty nice uh bolts on there pretty heavy duty bolts well they saw this thing it's called um the floor pillar i believe that's what it's called so it's like a floor bar that runs it hooks up to this bolt that's right here and it hooks up to that bolt and it replaces this guy with a bar that looks kind of like this but then it just runs across the whole edging right here it goes over it goes down it goes over this bump back down and it bolts up to the other end over here and remember I also have this guy right here right in the middle this guy and he's bolted on there pretty tight so with all those bars in place I'm thinking that's a good start the next thing would be next year before before summer starts before spring starts I want to have a roll cage in this car at the beginning of 2019 I mean yeah 2020 I mean at the beginning of 2020 I want to have a cage that's gonna go in here and that cage is gonna tie in everything everything's gonna I'm gonna have it where everything hooks up to that cage therefore I will be safe don't worry I know these doors are kind of yinky how they are right now the bars are still in there 
So, with that being said, that will protect me and hopefully tying up the car. And another thing, this car isn't being built to make fast turns or anything of that. This car is specifically being built to go to Mexico to do roll racing. That's what I'm building this. Just random roll racing on the highway or somewhere. And I definitely don't want to do that until I have this roll cage in here. Um, I also had plans that maybe I could buy that that uh, C pillar that I was talking about up here and put one over here. You guys can see that there's like a little bracket that comes off of this and run a second one that would run across to this plate that's behind here. So these are all little plans that I have. But for now, what we have to do is we have to lose the weight. And I know it sounds horrible and I never thought that I would be chopping up a car this much, but this car is being built specifically for YouTube content. And believe me, that's the only time that this car is going to be driven. If I don't have my camera and I'm not recording, there's no reason for me to have this car turned on or anything. So hopefully that answers some questions about that. Um, let's talk about my compressor and gun setup. So my gun is a Harbor Freight gun. It's on sale right now for 10 bucks. I'm gonna go pick one up because this one that I have here already went bad. So this gun was acting up, it was spitting out. I tried cleaning it the best that I could and it still continued. These guns, they're so cheap that believe me after the third fourth fifth time that you guys have used it it's gonna start acting up and you're gonna be like oh man i should have gotten the warranty i should take it back or let me take it back it's only 10 bucks you know you're not gonna lose a lot out of these guns so for me i'm just gonna throw this away and i'm gonna get a new one um underneath it this is also a harbor fright filter that i use sometimes I used two filters this time I only used one and by two I mean I screw one on top of the other and then you have double with your connector right here for your line there is another filter that I like that they sell it's like five bucks it's made out of like glass that one works a lot better than this one um, after you're done using the gun usually what I do is I unscrew this guy and I just hook up the line to this and it spits out all that water so that's the gun that I use I believe this is a 1.4 tip yeah it's a 1.4 um, I don't like to use anything higher than that like a 1.5 to spray colors because it starts giving you texture that's more for like primer and stuff but a 1.4 if I could find a 1.3 I would love to use a 1.3 on this paint job that I'm doing but a little four works completely fine for the time being uh, my compressor here's my compressor nothing special 26 gallons 150 psi 2 horsepower that's all there is to this compressor when I first started painting, if you guys go back through all my videos and you guys go back, there's a video where I have a four door Honda Civic and my daughter is recording. In that video, I had sprayed that Honda Civic with the almond and I later again used that same, that same uh, paint to paint the Integra that you guys could find if you guys scroll through my videos. Um, for that paint job, for both of those paint jobs, I used a compressor that I borrowed from Home Depot for like 40, 50 bucks. Um, it was like a five gallon compressor. It was little. I was stopping every few minutes, but it does work. It's possible because I did it. So if I could do it, you guys can do it with the little compressor. Go to town. All right, so... Uh, one of you guys told me to take a jack 
slide it under the car jack it up and see if my body will twist i believe it's gonna twist i believe that if this car was running and i would drive it around in a circle drive around the neighborhood that i would have um some kind of a twisting even though you don't see it it's there so i'm gonna go ahead and do it just to show you guys but i do believe you and i know that this this body is gonna flex a little bit all right you guys tell me if you see any flex we might not see it looking behind me don't pay attention to me talking and tell me if you guys see any flexing I'm gonna release it pretty fast. See, it, it's kind of hard to tell. I'm gonna jack it up and I'm gonna do a walk around. All right. So it's kind of hard to tell when you're jacking it up but you're probably right you're probably completely 100% right yeah so the bottom what I think is that the bottom is is pretty solid it's just the top half from here on up and maybe the trunk area so this whole side and this other whole side so if I was driving and I would take a fast turn that's when the twisting would really interfere with my driving but hopefully we don't have a lot of that but like I said it doesn't matter right now because we have to lose the weight to then add some more weight to stabilize everything back up tie everything together Yeah, don't, don't get me wrong, you guys. I'm not doing this video to try to piss anybody off. And don't think that I'm pissed or anything. Because I told you this is my YouTube uh, car. Strictly for YouTube. Um, the only reason I'm doing this video is so you guys can understand where I'm coming from with all these cuts. And not to worry that I am going to be safe but i gotta go to the store i'll let you guys tag along with me we're gonna get a gun and another cutting disc for the grinder and every time you guys post a message i i see all those messages and i reply to them the best that i can um i don't try to be mean to anybody or anything like that i always you know even even though sometimes you get those people that will respond to you bad or whatever I don't let it affect me I'll talk to you just fine and then if you continue I'll just block you off but yeah let's head to the store we are here So all the stuff that I bought came out to a total of $30. That's not bad for all the stuff that I bought. I threw it in here and we're gonna head back to the house. This is my old truck. I used to work for that company. That whole trailer is full of Chrysler parts. Chrysler, Dodge, and Maserati parts. That's all we would pick up. Um, we would take our tractor and hook up to one of those trailers 
and it would be completely loaded and then we would take it and drop it off at the other warehouse now that i have explained myself to you guys and we've gone to the store picked up more stuff i think i'm ready to continue cutting so let's do a little bit and we'll call this a video after this check it out i got the gloves i got the mask i'm ready to go with all this gear i feel a cut like cussing but i can't because youtube will monetize me but right now i feel like i'm the poop with all this gear on badass So this is the part that scared me the most to remove. I know that this is very important in there, but don't worry, we are gonna get the floor bar. I'm not gonna drive this around until I have that floor bar. This is extremely heavy. And like I said, I know that this is an important part of the car. So, now we're going to continue trying to fix the back, making my cuts nice and straight. This is where I'm gonna leave you guys off and I'm gonna throw the camera on the charger and I'm gonna continue recording. So I'll catch you guys on the next video. Till then, peace out, stay safe, comment below, catch you guys later, peace.